if you're just joining us now, we're just in the middle of our conversation with the new finance minister and our local MLA, Lloyd Snellgrove. Uh, we're just in the middle of talking about health care. Now, you're saying that uh, uh, the opposition is saying that uh, you, you guys are spending too much. The Liberals went even as far to say as uh, you guys are throwing your money around like monopoly money. Uh, how are you responding to that? <laughs> well, you know, you don't have to be responsible if there's no chance of you ever being called forward to actually bring, bring a plan forward. Uh, the Liberals are an amazing bunch when uh, when they can in one sentence talk about spending more and spending less. Um, but the, the fact is that we have to deal with real issues. We are dealing with real doctors, with real nurses, and with real patients. And, and that's the difference between a government and an opposition. So the opposition can, can say what they want, but uh, the simple fact is Albertans want access to good, solid, publicly funded medical service. And, and that's what it's going to cost to do. Now, the five-year commitment we made to fund it uh, was, was just to take one of the pressures off so there was predictability in their funding. Uh, is it going to be a challenge? Absolutely still going to be a challenge mm -hmm. to deliver the, the services that people want. You said you're, you're projecting uh, that you'll have a surplus in 2013. How, how are you going to get there? Well, the, uh, the difference between relying on bitumen royalty and natural gas is quite different. Natural gas can be shut off at the well and the producers can go anywhere in the world and get it cheaper. Mm -hmm. Bitumen means you make literally billions of dollars of investment into the mines, into the wells, into the pads, and the production of it. That means you've made a commitment for years and years and years. And that bitumen is only right here, just like the heavy oil around Lloyd Minster. So the companies have come from around the world. They've made huge investments and, and they're not leaving. So we're quite confident when we say that in, in uh, uh, two years we'll be, uh, you know, r roughly seven billion dollars in bitumen royalties alone. And that's, that's, that's a real good prospect for us. So taxes haven't really changed that much, but, uh, but a couple of service hikes, correct? Yes. What, what kind of service well, hikes? Well, you know, see? we haven't increased those service fees since 2002. Mm -hmm. And anyone in business would tell you how much the costs have increased. And these, these fee increases have really just got us back to a cost recovery level. And, and quite honestly, uh, maybe we should have been taken a little bit every year to stay there. Uh, but, you know, when you're making very difficult decisions, I think most people would uh, respect uh, that, y that you recover the cost, that your actual cost when you're providing that service. Well, it's good to hear you're at least confident about the numbers you delivered. <laughs> it's mm. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for, for having me. This has been our conversation with MLA Lloyd Snellgrove.